So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a texture that looks like rock or stone in Blender. So let's get started. First of all, delete the default cube, go to add, mesh and choose UV sphere. You can press S to scale it down, scale and just, you know, use your mouse to scale it down. Okay. And then now let's go to edit mode, right click and subdivide. And now zoom in a little bit and choose proportional editing choose one point any point and press G um, right now it has a big area of selection so when you scroll up on your scroll wheel on your mouse so it, uh, it reduces the area and then you can just drag your mouse like this and you can move a certain area. Click one point G and then move like this. Alternatively, uh, instead of G, you can press Alt S. Okay. So what it does is it just moves on one direction, let's say in and out okay not left and right not up and down anything nothing just in and out so you can use that combination of the keys okay and yeah so the the reason i'm doing this is I just want to make the shape look irregular. If it looks like, uh, like a perfect sphere, it won't look like a stone or a rock. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so. That's what uh, we're gonna do. Okay, we're almost done with the distortion, distorting the shape of the rock. Okay, and uh, let's go to object mode, right click and shade smooth, okay. So we have the shape ready. Now we're going to go to shading here. Zoom in. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. And then now go to this new. Click on the new button and then you can see this new material that's added to this object. And by default, the color here, the base color is white. Click on this white color and you get to change the color. You can choose the brightness here. Okay. So I think we are good with this color or a little different. Okay. That's fine. Now we're going to go to add. Okay. Here, add, search, and then search for bump. Click and then drop here. And what we're going to do is connect this normal, normal from bump to normal of the material. Um, it doesn't show anything. Um, now we're going to add another node so that it makes it, it's going to show some difference okay let's go to add search and noise noise texture drop it here and now i'm gonna 
connect the factor of noise texture to the height of bump node. Wait for a while, and now, as you can see, it gives a kind of you know bumpy texture. It's got bumps, and uh, yeah, it almost looks like a rock. But we're gonna refine it. We're gonna make some changes here. So first thing, the roughness. We're gonna increase it, uh, increase it a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna play with the strength and distance of the bump. Let's go to strength. Uh, let's make it half and distance. Okay. Maybe this much. Now we're gonna play with the roughness here on noise texture. A little bit. And the scale. We're gonna increase the scale. Okay. And then detail. Okay. You can see when we play with the detail, it's gonna give the look of the rock. Rocky texture. Okay. Play with the detail. Hmm. Okay kind of rocky texture play with the roughness decrease a little bit uh maybe increase increase now distortion it's gonna make the shape a little different don't play i mean don't move it too much as you can see it's making a, like weird sh a kind of weird texture so we're gonna move it a little just a little bit we're almost there okay now we can play with the roughness here on the material we can decrease the roughness a little bit so then now we're gonna go to this render okay preview so as you can see if you play with the roughness here Okay. You can see that we're already able to see this thing, you know, which looks like a stone or rock. Okay, we can still play with the strength, okay, and distance. There's no exact number, you just need to play with them and it's gonna look more and more realistic. I'm increasing the scale and decreasing. Let's see what looks great. Okay, I think 10, around 10 is okay. Let's go to detail and increase the detail. Roughness, uh, I don't know. Maybe a little less. And distortion. Okay. So, yeah. Now, if you see this, okay, this looks like a rock. You can go to uh, where is our light source. Click on the light source, grab, and then you can just bring it down closer to the object, and you can see it clearly. A little further, maybe. Okay. And yes, this looks great. We can maybe decrease the power of the light to 800. And diffusion, I'll decrease the diffusion a little bit. Okay. And what we can do is go to this world properties, change the color, maybe a little darker. Okay. And now it looks even better. And if you turn off this overlays, 
Oh, you can see the magic. It looks great. Okay. They just look so real. So yeah, it's a very simple method to get this effect in Blender. And uh, I just hope that you, you learn something new. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.